What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of My Ultimate Team. This is episode number 20 and we start today's episode off by picking up a Bedemo. Uh, of course we quick sold the one that was out of contract in the last episode. So we picked this one up for 300 coins. Again it's just a simple way of uh, uh, getting a new player, a fresh player with uh, 7 games on his contract without having to worry about buying a contract. And we also went and listed so many players uh, in the last episode and only a couple of them sold which is really frustrating. Uh, we go ahead and list them all again. We do quick sell uh, Aurier and Sane I think they were but we list a couple of other players as well and hopefully they will sell and we also begin to build a new team because uh, once again thank you very much for all your comments I've had loads and loads and loads of comments telling me that I should build a new team the backup side isn't good enough we've got enough coins to build a good you know uh, backup side now at 30 coins uh, 30k coins so you know with that in mind I decided to go ahead and build a new team and um, the first player we picked up was Bernard uh, in a CF uh, role but we're going to convert him to a striker because we have a con uh, have a CF to SD card that we picked up in the first few episodes and uh, we also go ahead and pick up Alex as well, who is a CAM. And you can already tell what team we're going to be building here. Ronaldinho also comes in for 5.1k at, uh, sorry, 5k at a natural CM role instead of CAM. You already know what team I'm going to be building here. It is going to be a skill team. Uh, the reason being is, quite frankly, because we've only had one five-star skiller during the series so far. That was Ben Arthur. And quite frankly, I, you know, my, my play style is skill. You know, I mean, I, okay, I do try to switch up every now and then, but I can't deny, you know, skill has been my play style since like FIFA 11 you know so I don't really really want to go uh, go and try a new play style and uh, I just thought you know we, we need to get a skill team you know we really do because it's, it's just boring going on the same skill run with Ben Arthur every single game I want to have at least like three or four skill uh, five star skillers to use and uh, obviously the Brazilian league and the Brazilian players they have the most common five star skills so with that in mind uh, we're looking for a Liga do Brazil slash Brazilian uh, side and we pick up like so many five star skillers. Bernard came in, Alex came in, Ronaldinho came in, Jadson, Delessandro come in. Uh, so we're picking up these five star skillers to put in a team. And also some four star skillers as well. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce this guy's name. I'm going to try and say it. Is it Richard Leeson? I think that's it, the left back. He's got a high defensive work rate and four star skills for a fullback. I've never seen a player with. Uh, well, oh no, it's four stars. Sorry, I was going to say I thought it was five star skills. I was going to say I've never seen a player with five star skills and a high defensive work rate. Um, but even so, a high defensive work rate on a fullback is always great. And uh, four star skills as well is good too. And uh, Felipe Santana is a centre back. He comes in for 1.2k. Uh, so we get a bit of a rock at the uh, centre back position. And his partner will be Dante. So in the same league and a really awesome Brazilian centre half as well. So Dante comes in, 84 rated, should be a really solid uh, CB partnership there. And uh, Rogério Cini will be our goalkeeper because oh God, I'm, just, I'm just desperate to score a free kick in FIFA 14. It's It's been months since the game came out and I'm still yet to score a free kick. What's going on? But um, hopefully Cini with his free kick uh, skills uh, as our goalkeeper could score one for us. And uh, So we do pick up Ruggiero Cini for 650 coins and uh, hopefully he'll turn out to be good as well. Um, but the last player we pick up is... Um, oh, we sold Mandana, by the way, for 800 coins, uh, which is good. And we went and quick sold the rest that didn't sell. So we've got a few more coins to work with there. Not too many, but a few that will help us pick up the last couple of players and uh, the last player we picked up was a right back called Gabriel or Gabriel if you will and he is a right back who also has four star skills so we pick him up for 1k I think it is I think it was 1k yes it was uh, but he's also got a chemistry style which is Sentinel um, and if I remember correctly that's what Matuidi had and he was a bit of an animal so hopefully that chemistry style is good for a fullback and uh, yeah Gabriel comes in and uh, we also give him a contract so it only cost us 150 coins so yeah that's that's cool and uh, this is the team we've built it's a 4-2-3-1 uh, we have Cini in goal at centre back we have Felipe Santana and Dante. Uh, left back we have uh, Richarlison. Uh, uh, C, uh, C, well, we have two CMs that are playing CDM at the moment. We're going to try and convert them down to CDM. I didn't realise that they cost like 1.8k on PS3. Those cards they they used to go for like discard price. That you know if you got those on your packs in FIFA 13, you would just discard them. They never used to sell. Now they're costing like 1.8k. What is that about? But yeah, um, we're going to have to try and uh, convert uh, De La Sandra Ronald Ronaldinho down to CDM and we also converted Bernard from CF to ST because we had that card already and yeah the only player that doesn't get 9 chemistry is Delessandro as you can see uh, he does need a CDM card so we will pick one up in time I, just, I didn't realize I, I thought you know that they were like 150 coins that's why I decided to get him a CM because it would be cheaper but instead it turns out they're more expensive which is just typical of my luck but uh, even so that's the team it, it's great there's five five star skillers in there uh, sorry no six five star skillers aren't they yeah 
Garcia, six five-star skillers, two four-star skillers, and uh, obviously Dante and Felipe Santana are two rocks at centre-back, and Ruggiero Cini's in goal. So, I mean, it should be a really awesome side. I'm, I'm going to have to be really, really good defensively because we <laughs> we haven't really got defensive players in that team. You know, those six players are just going to be bombing into the penalty area every single attack. But um, I am going to be able to be on my game defensively, but I'm excited to use the team. Hopefully you guys are as well because it is a new team. It is, it's got some real quality in there. Like I say, Dante, 84 rated, is a really awesome centre-back. There's some great players in there. And um, hopefully we can get some more skill goals as well because that's, that's always nice to see. But uh, we come into an online single match of the first uh, game of the episode here uh, with this new team. The reason being is because uh, we've been playing divisions all through this uh, series. But, of course, on the back of what happened the last time we went into Division 3, uh, well, the first time we went into Division 3, we, we lost so many games and we almost got relegated. So I thought I didn't really want to bring in a new side uh, into the division. I thought we'd just get battered. So I thought I'd play a couple of online single matches just to get myself warmed up. And uh, obviously there's nothing at stake really, so I tend to play better when there's no pressure on me. So we took the 1-0 lead with Felipe Santana scoring from the corner. And in the 36th minute here, Carlos Eduardo finds Alex. Alex chips the ball over to Carlos Eduardo, flicks the ball over his head and Bicycle chips the ball over the goalkeeper. So that was a really, really nice goal. Our first goal with like some skill and flair with this team of what I hope to be many goals like that. It was a really good finish. I, I just thought, you know, I saw the goalkeeper coming out. Usually I'd just chip the ball first time, but I thought, now nah, let's try something different. Chip the ball over the head, bicycle kick chip over the goalkeeper who kept coming out. And it's a really, really nice bicycle kick into the back of the net. So yes, the goalkeeper's out of position. Yes, there's no one on the line, but it still looks pretty nice. And we are 2-0 up. So 2-0 here. And uh, in the 82nd minute here, Jadson comes through. The game was really frustrating. There was a lot of lag when I played this night. And um, all of the games you'll see had quite a bit of lag so I found it very hard to uh, get some nice skill runs going but uh, Jadson won a penalty here and uh, it was a good chance for us to score from the spot we have missed our last three penalties though so I was aware of that fact so Ronaldinho stepped up hopefully this time we would make a uh, score from a penalty but I ended up blasting the ball wide I don't know what is going on with my penalties right now I just cannot score at all so that's four penalties in a row that have been missed and that is really really poor but we did win the game by two goals to nil uh, the guy had a very good side but he wasn't that great of a player unfortunately Unfortunately, uh, but we did get a win, and and that was the main thing. So I was pleased with that, and um, it was great to get a first win with a third, um, with the, the new team. So that was that was fantastic, and uh, it was a good uh, a good nice goal with Carlos Eduardo as well. So yeah, I was pleased with that, and uh, it seemed like the defensive problems that I thought I would have didn't prove to be that much of a problem either because we didn't concede. So that was great. But uh, we came into the next game against the guy with 57 chemistry. Uh, it's funny, I've never really played teams with low chemistry in this series, but uh, this guy he had a couple of good players in there, uh, Leandro Damiao up. Uh, up top, uh, McCarthy's at CM, Rivera's a good centre half, uh, so some good players, it's a bronze and gold mix, 57 chemistry though, and we did get the first goal of the game in the 22nd minute, Bernard heads the ball back to Alex, who just rifles the ball into the top corner, that was a really, really nice goal really, because um, <clears throat> I thought instead of just scoring a simple header, I'll just pass it back to Alex, shoot from outside the area, and he did score, so Alex makes it 1-0 here, and in the 56th minute, Alex wins the ball again, goes down the centre of the pitch, and again, there's a bit of lag in this game, which is really annoying, but uh, not too much, not as much as the last game, and uh, we had a heel-to-heel -heel flick with Alex here, fake Rabona gets brought down, and it is another penalty to us, so two penalties in two games, of course, as I just said, we have missed four penalties in a row, so I thought I'm not going to give it to Ronaldinho again, decided to give it to, who did I give it to? Oh no, I did take a Ronaldinho, okay. Uh, Ronaldinho stepped up, and again, it's saved. So that is five penalties in a row that I've missed. Unbelievably bad. Uh, but uh, in the 75th minute here, a corner from Ronaldinho has crossed in. Uh, it's headed up in the air. It comes to Dante eventually as he makes the interception, and he puts the ball into the back of the net. So Dante scores. Uh, it's 2-0, and uh, that is how the game did end up finishing. So another 2-0 victory. Really, really good um, against a team which we should have won against anyway. So a 2-0 victory. That's two wins out of two with a new team. Uh, getting, getting more confident playing with them now. And um, yeah, again, we deserve to win we were much better and that was really good but I'm still really really annoyed that I've missed five penalties in a row it's just pathetic really that my composure is that bad but um, even so we went into their third online single match and uh, I just thought uh, you know just test the water I don't really want to go straight into a division and then end up losing and losing all my confidence and having a struggle again like we did in the last uh, last time we went into the division so uh, we did eventually find an online single match opponent here it's it's really hard to find opponents in the online single matches not sure why but again it's quite 
quite low chemistry, uh, 64 uh, for the chemistry and a uh, four star rated team, uh, all gold and one silver in there as well, but some good players there, they're just a bit out of position, they're all over the place really, uh, Marchetti's in there, Constant, Rafinha playing centre back, Zabaleta, Jovetic is in there as well, uh, so a really, really solid side, but uh, we did have the first chance of the game in the eighth minute here, Bernard finds Carlos Eduardo, uh, Eduardo runs down the centre, he's got all the room in the world, gets past his man with a nice piece of skill, then the Ronaldo chopped down the right hand side, keeps on going, nice little Berber spin and finds the back of the net with a really good finish. So that was a lovely skill run there. Uh, again, there was lag in this game. There was lag in all three games. The, the night was filled with lag. I'm not sure why, but uh, even so, uh, we got the skill going. That was nice. We were 1-0 up here. And in the 22nd minute here, we had a good chance with uh, Vukanic. He took the shot. Uh, our goalkeeper, Rogero Sini, wins, uh, sorry, uh, prevents the ball from going in, but he does uh, can't prevent the corner. And from the corner, he ends up losing the ball in the air, and Jovetic heads the ball into the empty net. So... It's 1-1 here, the guys back on level terms. It's the first goal we do concede with the new team. And in the 29th minute here, Alex gets on the ball, goes down the right-hand side, gives it to D'Alessandro, chips the ball over the top to Alex. Asamoah gives the ball away, it comes to Alex here. And this was just such a really, really weird goal. The cross came to Jadson, Jadson heads the ball in. I didn't even mean to do that. I tried to rebond the ball over the goalkeeper and instead he crossed it to the far post and Jadson headed it in, so it's 2-1. Didn't even mean to do that, but oh well, it's a goal and I'll take it. And in the 32nd minute here, we win a penalty a nice little skill run with Bernard. Bernard gets broke, uh, brought down and it's a penalty to us and uh, we've missed five penalties in a row so I thought not giving it to Ronaldinho. thought I'd give it to Bernard who won the penalty. Bernard stepped up against Marchetti and it's saved again. That is six penalties in a row we've missed. It is just embarrassing but uh, there you go. You can't score them all or in my case you can't, I can't score any but there you go. And as always, guys, thanks very much for watching today's episode of My Ultimate Team. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like. That's much appreciated. It really does help my channel out. And I'll see you for the next episode of My Ultimate Team very soon.